हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास दिस इज क्लास फोर साइंस मैजिक रत्ना सागर आई होप यू ऑल हैव कंप्लीटेड लेसन नंबर वन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ लेसन नंबर टू दैट इज मटीरियल्स फ्रॉम द अर्थ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो वॉट इज अ मटीरियल अ मटीरियल इज अ सब्सटेंस फ्रॉम विच थिंग्स आर मेड लाइक here i am having a pencil what is the material which is used for making a pencil yes that is a wood here this is the pen what material is used to make this pen it's a plastic now what is the difference between these two from where do we get this wood we get this wood from plants and from where do we get this plastic plastic is made in factories by using chemicals so the things which we get from plants or animals these are the natural materials and this we get on uh, this we get naturally and such materials are synthetic which you will study next year so let us now come to the chapter here the chapter is about materials from the earth now here is a get set activity what is the source of the following animals plants or the earth from the earth means from the ground that means things which come by digging the earth things which we get by digging the earth like this this is a wooden chair obviously wood we get from plants jute bag it's a plant product leather shoe it's an animal product coal coal we get from inside the earth that is why it is the product from the earth so wool we get from sheep so it's a animal product and rock again rock we find found on we find on the earth so it is a product from the material from the earth let us begin with the chapter so when we look around in our houses we get many other things that come from the earth like stones clay sand glass and metals all these things we get from the earth what are the things stones clay sand glass and metals all these things we get from the earth the uh, see the utensils which we use at home are made of metals clay or glass whatever utensils we are using like a plate for eating glass for drinking a mug for coffee mug tea mug all these things they are made either of metal or clay or glass stone clay coal metals and glass are examples so may come from the earth so what are the examples stone clay coal metals and glass they are the materials which we get from the earth and they are called natural resources why they are called natural resources because they are found in nature from the earth now we will study different types of stones what are stones stones are the pieces of big rocks when big rocks are cut and dug out from the earth and uh, they form stones and the place where all this process takes place like digging of rocks and cutting them down to form stones this place is called a quarry now here is a chart given in which uses of stones there are different type of stones given and their uses are given so the main base stones which we are going to study is granite marble graphite slate chalk coal and talc let us see and we are going to study some precious stones and some semi precious stones also let us start with the first marble marble is a hard rock when polished its surface becomes very smooth it is used for flooring and making decorative items many of you might be having marble flooring in your homes so marble when it is polished it becomes very smooth and uh, it is used for making decorative items uh, those who have seen taj mahal taj mahal is purely made up of marble next is granite this uh, this is also a very common thing in our homes that is the kitchen platform kitchen counter so uh, granite is a very hard rock it does not wear out easily means it does not uh, get uh, spoiled easily so it is used for making tops of kitchen counters and stairs third is graphite graphite is something which i am using just now this is graphite this pencil lid is graphite again when you touch it you can feel that it is soft 
and when we rub it uh, on a surface it gives a black color so it is used as laden pencils and it also allows electricity to pass through it is also used to make batteries so there are two uses first is it is used as laden pencils and second is it is used to make batteries next is talc talc is again a very soft rock and it is used to make talcum powders which we use at our homes talcum powders it is made from the uh, stone that is called talc now it's a chalk this you see in your school daily in your class it is again a soft white rock and it is used to write on the blackboard and blackboards are made up of black rock that is called a slate slate is a dark colored stone with rough surface as you can see here in your school now you don't have this type of boards but uh, these type of boards were used previously they are made up of slate now next is coal coal we all have seen coal coal it is used for cooking and it is also used for producing electricity now these are the types of rocks now you have some other types of stones also they are precious and semi precious stones obviously the precious stones they are very expensive they are found in less number in nature that is why they are very expensive examples are diamond ruby emerald and these three garnet amethyst and topaz they are semi precious stones because they are found uh, means more than these so they are less expensive their cost is less than these that is why they are called semi precious stones now next is clay clay is a sticky substance that consists of very fine particles of soil and holds a lot of water you also use clay for making some craft items so you might be knowing what is a clay and uh, naturally it is found near the banks of river or stream uh, clay uh, you can uh, you know that clay can be molded into different shapes and with clay what we make we make pottery see mugs and pots all these things are made up of clay first it is given a shape and then it is baked in an oven called kiln it is given shape and then it is baked and this baking of pottery is called firing the baking of pottery in a kiln is called firing and after that if it is required then it is painted decorated polished and all this and this polishing is called decorating and polishing a pottery is called glazing here some uh, fact is given porcelain the uh, these type of cups and mugs we use at our homes for uh, having tea and all tea and coffee so they are made up of porcelain and it is also known as china clay why because it was uh, because the chinese were the first to use it for pottery and it is also used for making pots dishes tiles and wash basins wash basins we all have at, at our homes and they are made up of this china clay or porcelain now next step is making bricks uses of clay is uh, this it is in continuation with this uses of clay first was making pottery next is making bricks now clay is also used to make bricks uh, first bricks are shaped molded into a clay uh, first clay is molded into a brick shape and then it is heated in an oven and uh, that that is called the brick kiln they are heated uh, they are baked in Big brick kiln you can see a brick kiln here a picture of brick kiln next use is making cement now cement is made by mix, uh, mixing clay with a rock called limestone so clay is mixed with limestone to make cement okay we all have seen cement when uh, and uh, you know when cement is mixed with sand and water it forms a thick like paste called mortar when uh, uh, homes and all uh, homes and buildings are made you can see that cement is mixed with sand and water so this mixture is called mortar and this mortar is used uh, to stick bricks together one brick is put then mortar then brick then mortar so it is used to stick the bricks together now there is a checkpoint which is to be done in the book and uh, 